Well, hello there again. This is Franz Cantor here, and uh, I am a caricaturist and an illustrator and a teacher and a, and a, and a, tune a sailor tinker spy and a tune talker and all this sort of stuff. I'm here at the museum. I'm here joined with, uh, I'm here today joined with, joined by, <laughs> yeah? Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. Awesome. And here we are in downtown Docklands in Melbourne. Um, oh, <laughs> so I've done a. Um, I've tried to get some. It kind of looks like Thomas, Thomas the Tank Engine a little bit. Uh, a it potato does. with a, a yeah. potato with a potato nose. So um, the idea I've tried to get today is some basic shape uh, that's going to instruct the caricature that I'm drawing. The um, subject of the caricature is Shemp Howard, uh, uh, formerly known as Sam Howard. Um, one of the Formal three stooges. Is Samuel Howard. Yeah. Hodge, so yeah. often referred to as the fourth stooge, uh, actually, because most people are, are familiar, are more familiar, I think, with Curly. So Mo, Larry, and Curly, and um, Mo, Larry, and Shemp. Shemp w uh, played a stooge before Curly, and then Curly played a, a stint as, as the third stooge. Um, Shemp went on to do a film career. And then when um, Curly died, uh, Shemp came back into the group and uh, continued on with, uh, with some more shorts. They were um, very, very popular. And when I was a kid, this uh, Shemp was like... Um, he, he, well, not Shemp per se, but the Three Stooges were incredibly popular. A lot of people uh, gravitated to either Shemp or Curly. I, I love both of them, but... Uh, in particular, I found Shemp very um, um, versatile, I think. He wasn't as stupid. He was stupid. They were all stupid, let's face it. But, you know, their, their personas I'm talking about, the characters that they played. But um, he had something else. He had, a, uh, I think, a, a, a temper that could stand up to Mo. And uh, unless you were affected by a violin or something... You know, as in a case of Curly in a couple of uh, shorts, um, no one could really stand up to Mo. He was just too forceful and too aggressive. So, uh, but Shemp could. Shemp, Shemp had that ability. He's kind of taller. I think he's the tallest. You were saying he was the tallest uh, stooge. Yeah, well, the, the, three, the three brothers were, were Curly, mm. um, uh, Mo, and, and Shemp. Yeah, he um, had a very versatile. Larry wasn't a brother. But, no, Larry um, Fine. But um, Shemp was uh, was one of the original three studios, and then he went his. Uh, he didn't like um, Jack Healy, who was their like their ma not their he wasn't their manager. Yeah, he was their manager. Mm. He was uh, it w the act was called uh, Healy and his three studios. You know. Yeah. Anyway, um, he was a pretty brutal sort of a boss and didn't pay her much and stuff. So, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, uh, Shemp left pretty early mm. in the in the piece, and he had a solo career for fourteen years a away from his uh, two other brothers. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Well, he was born in um, nineteen eighty five. Uh, sorry, eighteen eighty five. Yeah. And died in nineteen fifty five. Mm. And Samuel Horowitz. Um, That's his name. Yeah, and he was called Shemp because his mother, who could just couldn't really speak English that well, um, she was Litvak. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, were they Sam, Hungarian immigrants? I or? think so. Yeah. Uh, so S they called him Sam. Yeah. His brothers called him Sam, but it came out Sham, mm. and, and it ended up the Shemp. You know. Uh, sorry, it was Ted Healy. Not yeah, it was Ted Healy. Yeah. Who was a famous. Uh, Actor in movies, and he started this vaudeville act before they, they got into uh, films. Yeah, and they're on they're on vaudeville a lot, and that's actually it's funny because he had um, he had uh, uh, two other he had he had um, Mo and somebody else as mm. his stooges, and then th they 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 worked on stage on on vaudeville, mm. and one day um, Mo looked in the audience and saw Shemp. 
His brother, yeah. yeah. And yelled out, what are you doing here, you know? And Shep yelled out back and then they started What's yelling the at each other. Yeah, and that banter so, um, yeah. became a funny And, and then he walked routine. up on stage and, and he stayed. That was it. That's yeah. how he joined the act, mm. which is a great story. It is a great story. Yeah. They actually copied that story in um, a Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis film. I think it's called The Stooge or something, or the... the uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Yeah. But... Um, that that whole thing of the, they met, you know, you invited them up on on the stage. The the routine became popular. That was I think it was the was it it wasn't the caddy. It was something else. Some well, other film. well, actually, Dean Martin wasn't in the caddy. Um, they they had the fight, and then um, 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 J- Jerry started directing his own movies. Right. Let's let's. <laughs> That's let's a fabulous. And draw That's a fabulous photo. Yeah, it's nice and clear, isn't it's it? It's fabulous, a like Hollywood uh, like quality. Uh, it looks like star. a star. It looks like a, a gangster and a yeah. It's a publicity photograph yeah. that shows off a lot of the character. So character actors are enormously uh, important in the film business because they're really, um, the, you know, the, the they're the potatoes. Oh yeah, <laughs> for the meat. <laughs> That's right. So he's a potato, yeah. and you know, and the meat could be John Wayne or someone, yeah. someone like that. Yeah. So um, I always thought he was, on the old potatoes, love that. Potatoes. I always thought um, because when, when you saw him in Buy close Mr. up, Chips. he seemed to have a whiskey nose. That yeah, was, that well, was my anybody. I mean, it's like I guess W. C. Fields. Anybody with a big round bulbous, yeah, proboscis here is. Is fair game to think, you know. Well, oh, he definitely. I mean, loved his drink. WC definitely had a um, a whiskey nose. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, so his brother, like Mo, um, he he was christened Moses. Yeah. And Curly was Jerome. Right. And when he first joined the act. Um, the, 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 you know, the, the, they were really in trouble because um, one of the guys left and that was it. Um, oh, they didn't know what to do. So um, so they resorted to well, bullying well, each Curly other. Curly had long hair. He had long red hair and, and a big moustache and he turned up and then when they actually started filming, he, turn, he, he, came, he came on on the set with um, dressed in an old-fashioned um, um, swimming costume Mm. And and, compl- and had all his hair completely uh, shaved. shaved off. Yeah. And he he you know he he shocked everybody, including his brothers. Mm. You know. But it worked. Worked it well. It worked. Yeah. They had very different styles. They did. They complemented each other, though. Yeah. The 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 humor. Um, it was very physical humor. So the, there's a thing about physical humor that you can get hurt, obviously, and you know a lot of the eye gouging and things and. And um, nose pulling and, and stuff and belly punching and that is like a, with beautiful sound effects, by the way. I mean, it kind of makes the uh, the experience. Uh, well, that's right. But I mean, there was a dark side of that because that's one of the reasons um, they say that uh, Curly got crook because his head was bashed that many times mm. uh, because he copped the the, the the brunt of those. Um, yeah. And when Shemp came in, Shemp was aware of that. Everybody was sort of aware of it, mm. so it didn't happen as much. And when Shemp died, they got that other guy in. I, you remember that? I forget his name. They got a guy in for a short period and it never worked. And he had in his contract he wasn't allowed to be hit on the head by, by Mo mm. because they were all aware that, um, that there were, it was problems with the... Brain gym. injury, yeah. repeated... Uh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. It's like a sports injury, but yeah. you know, because of timing and repetition, because you have to. Yeah. Timing's very important, right? So they had to do it over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And um, that just meant that the punches sometimes hit their mark, and um, unfortunately. Well, they're all on film. Well, they're all on film, they but they sometimes didn't do, they didn't do much editing. You know. No, you, if you got the joke, if it worked, you move yeah. on to the next uh, the next scene. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was very um, expedient. They they were churned out over a period of years and really 
Oh, uh, amazing amount of energy uh, required to, you know, to do that. Um, and uh, uh, um, a, a testament to their dedication, I guess, to their art, uh, which was to, you know, make people make people laugh. In 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 his early solo career, which lasted fourteen years away from the um, his brothers, mm. um, he he was always um, he was funny. He always played the the clown, mm. but um, he was um, everybody had to have a handle, and he his handle was he was the ugliest man in Hollywood. Mm. And he'd always pull his hair down over his head, but um, in real life he was um, he was very jittery, like, like like he is, you know, in on the film. And um, um, he he didn't like aeroplanes, he didn't like dogs, mm. he hated water, you know. Right. So they're they're all like excuses to <laughs> have a have a laugh and well, you know, make yeah, fun but he was him. quite yeah yeah that's right, you know. And um, um, when he used to freak out as a kid, he used to make that noise, you know, apparently, you know. Beep, 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 beep. Which is just... Yeah. But he did it at sucking in air, you see. He's breathing in air. But beep, 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 beep. Yeah, when you do... Beep, 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 you yeah. suck it in, you know. But he's a... He, I mean, they all had, as you said, they were all individual. They had very, very individual things. Yeah. Interestingly enough, they... You know, he, as I said to you before, he's, he's quite... He's taller and he's quite physical. And f out of all of the brothers, he's the one that looks more like Mo than anybody else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, it was that as well. It was like a second Mo probably in the, um, in the, in the story, in the, in the mix that made it uh, interesting. And, and the mix was, I mean, Larry, um, who, who, you know, he, he, he wasn't a brother or anything like that, but, I mean, he was important because, like, it was always Mo against um, Curly or Shemp. And yeah. Larry was sort of always in the middle somehow, sort of... Um, they were the two forces, and Larry was sort of somehow in the middle, sort of uh, balancing them to a certain yeah. extent, you know? What's the matter with you, porcupine? Yeah. So he's, he's a very important uh, aspect because he's like the, the, the... What do they call it? The second banana or something? The, yeah, second banana, straight... Yeah the straight guy that you actually stands in as the representation of the audience. Yeah, but, but I didn't think Mo was very funny. He was just brutal. Whereas when you're a little kid and you see somebody smacking somebody else like that with sound effects, yeah. it has a very profound effect on you. And I had, I really, really, really loved the Three Stooges. Um, I really enjoyed that physical aspect of the uh, humour, the physicality of it, the punching and the slapping and the boings and the, you know, complemented with these uh, beautiful sound effects by the, you know, wh whoever it was who did the sound effects for the show was mm. so perfect. Um, it was really, really well done. And um, they were like cartoons, you know. I know, like... Um, um, uh, what's his name? Stoneface, um, Buster Keaton, used to describe his own sense of humour and timing as cartoons. He would he would call his jokes, his little skits, his scenes. He wouldn't call them skits or scenes. He'd call them cartoons because mm. he was aware that uh, he was doing something that um, physically was uh, he, you know seemed impossible. So this was the um, the world in which the Stooges also also live, they perform these impossible feats of, uh, of physical uh, uh, humour. And, um, uh, you know, really to last so long, I mean, they're still going today, people, there's huge fans of, of, the, um, of the Stooges even, uh, even today. Well, the mothers didn't like their kids... Um you know, poking his sister's eyes out and all that sort of stuff and bonking them with their, you know, their, their stomachs and their heads and all that sort of stuff, you know. Is that what you guys got up to? Well, no, I mean, I, I mean, um, you know, uh, the, everybody, there, there was no problem watching the Three Stooges mm. um, when I was a kid, but um, I noticed it with my grandchildren, sorry, uh, with, with, with my children, mm. um, a, a different generation grew up and it, it wasn't, you know... Um, Parents did. I mean, it was off television anyway, but um, 
occasionally you'd see something and the parents would switch it off. They, they didn't There's approve. Other, other it was just too, too violent, you know. Yeah. Well, that physical thing yeah. uh, as well, a lot of uh, girls don't uh, uh, cotton on to the, uh, the humour of the stooges, you know, because it's, it, people get hurt and they don't have that... that um, Schadenfreude attitude of ha uh, ah, ha it's not me that's oh, so funny someone slipped on a banana peel ha 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 you know women are more um, yeah I hope he's alright yeah they're, they're very uh, you know um, uh, two things uh, you're actually doing a, a full face which you don't normally do which well, means you like such a beautiful potato on the middle of this potato <laughs> and also uh, he's noted for having a lot of hair like high High piled up well, here, could... and you're shortening it. So I mean, that's part of the caricature you're doing. So I'm just um, could have a wayward hair. I'm just impressed. Is 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 it kind just because you fell in love with the photo? Because it's a great photo. I love the photo. I love the man. I love this. Uh, yeah. You know, he's my favourite. Um, my favourite stooge. So there isn't really a, another. He, he, I, as I said to you before, I like Curly. I really do. I like the three of them. But there's some reason that um, uh, Shemp kind of resonates uh, with me. And I'm not the only one. I think a lot of people also prefer Shemp's uh, well, style. I think, the fact to... that, I think the fact that he had a solo career, because I remember the first time I saw Shemp in a movie without the, without his, the others, what the hell's he doing there? You know, he yeah. shouldn't be there, you know, and he, he's just where's stuck Mo? Where's Mo? Yeah, where's where, Larry? Yeah, how, you know, what's going on, you know? Mm. It was almost, you can't do that, you know? As a child, you think you can't do that. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's, uh, that is, that is a, uh, a yeah, thing for sure. He was in a, what was the film? Um, Pittsburgh. Mm. With John Wayne and Marlene Dietrich. Mm. Yeah. Early, early John Wayne. So yeah, of and he was popular as a solo actor because he had lived, and he made up his own jokes and stuff like that. They didn't have to write stuff for him, you know. Mm. And he's full of white wise cracks. Yes, he has some great, uh, some great lines. He had a. I remember there was, um, <laughs> there was he was he was um, challenged to a, a, a punching match. Yeah. And he did this beautiful little dance on his feet to try to dazzle the the opponent. Yeah, I remember it, it, that. It I didn't. That. It didn't work because the minute <laughs> no. he stopped, bang! Yeah, the guy, the, the opponent, just put his hands on his hips while he he just watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In mild annoyance at this uh, this dance. Yeah. But as soon as he stopped, pow! You know, he got it. Yeah. Um, but just that 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 uh, you know that bluff. The second of bluff. Is he going to get away with it? Is he going yeah. to? And he, you know, he he had that way of, of you know thump, you know flicking his nose when when they get angry. You know, like I'm, or I have a go. You know, and you know they, they flick yeah. their nose. You know, there's something that, like the cowardly lion about a lot of his. The cowardly um, lion. Oh. A lot about a lot of his. Put him. Uh, put him. Uh, yeah, that sort of bluff. I'll fight with one hand. I'll fight with two hands. Yeah. I'll fight with one hand tied my back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this well I don't good. know about that. He's a he's a um, well that that bluff, the bluffing. Yeah, you, know, you bluff the yeah, the, the, bluff, the opponent. Yeah. I yeah. just uh, found that really um, interesting. I uh, I don't like um, um, what's what's rainbow. What's it called? Wizard of Oz. I've never really liked it. I found it very creepy, actually. Ah, what creepier than? Um Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Um, That's a real creepy film. Yeah. Well, it looks like you nailed him already. Uh, we'll see. I think, um, you know, there's... Uh, I'm looking forward to the highlights on the, on the, the oiled hair. The yeah. real creamed hair. Mm. So, yeah, the, um, the Three Stooges. Uh, there's some great uh, films that you can... They're probably they're not public domain yet, are they? No, they're um, they're all on um, Turner Classics. Uh, probably see a bunch of them on uh, YouTube. Um, you know, from time to time they uh, they show up there. Well, you know, they're they're, they're the blessed trinity of popular culture. Um, they're always turning up in art. They're all they? over the place. Okay, yeah, comics cool. and all sorts of places. They, you know, like you 
You know, they've got big pictures of them painted on walls in LA and all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? It's oh, I didn't know that. Popular art, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. I like that idea. Um, well, I mean, um, if, if, if you look at the big picture, uh, in, like, just, well, let's, let, let's just confine the big picture to Let's look at the big picture. Hollywood. Why let's, don't we look at the big no, picture? Let, let, let's, let's not do the big picture. Let's just talk about the Hollywood picture. Mm. There's no one like them, is there? Not, no. There, there are brothers, there are comedians, there are... I mean, you've got the Marx yeah. Brothers, yep. right? But the Marx Brothers don't rely upon the physical stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, in, in, in a way, they're like... Um, ha uh, Usually, Groucho's yeah. an intellectual. Harpo is off his tree, but he also plays the harp. And the other guy plays the piano and he gambles like, like buggery and he's got all this Italian stuff in him, you know? It's... it's they're, they're yeah, sort of, they're, sort of, they're sort of tropes, you know? Yeah. Whereas these guys are just like... Um, Tootsie Frutzi ice cream. <laughs> yeah, Tootsie Frutzi, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, again, you know, great, uh, great energy in... Um, well, they had scripts and stuff, you know, written for the, the Marx yeah. Brothers, whereas these guys didn't have much scripts, it was all... No, they're it's, sort of like they're a bunch of short subjects, short yeah, stories. yeah. And I they think were that's why features. they're so popular because they're able yeah. to be fitted. You could fit them in, yeah. um, before or after a film, or, or you know, not after, yeah. before or intermission, uh, be just before intermission or after intermission in a film, in a double feature. So um, it was very popular um, for that reason. You know, they were they were sort of uh, production ready or, or like schedule ready um, product, always there. And um, even though they were black and white, they were really enjoyed on uh, on uh, TV for many, many years, on colour TV. Yeah. Um, just because they're, they're just so... As you said, no one else could do this. Yeah. You know, it was a very, um, a very great mean, thing. In, in different did. countries and stuff, you might have one bloke who's doing this sort of stuff, or maybe even two blokes, but not three. You know what I mean? It was... Mm. Um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But kids, I mean, I didn't know. I, I didn't appreciate um, the Marx Brothers till I was a teenager. Yeah, the Marx Brothers. There's something about them that um, just seemed too sophisticated. I think the uh, maybe the monkey suit. You know. I think um, all kids uh, respond to Harpo, but that's about it. You know. Yeah, but n kids, I I didn't respond to Harpo because I didn't like. I couldn't understand. Um, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand his premise, you know, with the harp and and all this, and even um, uh, what's the other one? Ha Groucho's. Uh, what's the other brother? Um, it, Zeppo. No. No, he's the other. Uh, it's um, Chico. Chico. Yeah. Yeah. So he was good at piano Chico and stuff, Lino. you know. And I appreciated that. I did, but. I don't. I didn't understand it. It was like from the 1930s. Mm. Um, it was a slightly different. Um, well, I mean, kids understanding. Kids, kids of entertainment. understand Abbott and Costello, and they understand the Three Stooges, but they don't understand. Um, well, Abbott and Costello was this childish man. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, Abbott, uh, very you know innocent. Well, so was Curly. They called him the child man. Yeah. So, oh, I made a mistake. So um, the uh, premise of uh, like this, the childish attitude. You gave them an extra worry line. No, I joined it under the wrong end. Oh. The um, so Curly is the childish, the childish innocent. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's what that made him endearing. Yeah. Um, uh, Shemp wasn't the, the innocent one. He was just another. He was just a uh, um, a wisecracker. Mm. That's right. And uh, yeah, he 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 would crack the joke. Mo would never crack a joke. But but um, no. But as soon as soon as he cracked the joke, got his face slapped. Get out of here, you know. Get out of. What's the matter with you? So these are like um, obviously kids style anger, kids yeah. style arguments. You know, get out of here. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Why I I order. You ought to what? I ought to, I ought to punch your lights out, you know. I don't know, just...
things that kids say to each other, especially back then in the 1940s. And, uh, you know, that, that was a very um, street-level, I guess, uh, sense of humour. They did an anti-Hitler um, yeah. short um, about seven months before Chaplin's um, The Great Dictator came out. Yeah. And it caused... Um, uh, Hitler, had, Hitler apparently saw it and he hated it. Oh, I, I, suppose, I haven't seen it myself, but I suppose Mo would be Hitler, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, they snuck in a lot of Jewish humour into a lot of their stuff too, which, uh, like Yiddish humour, which a lot of people sort of missed. But the um, the gist of it is, uh, like, y- Yiddish humour has... It's like a Bugs Bunny show or Mad Magazine. It's got a rhythm to it. The humor's got a rhythm to it. Mm. And that it, it helps with the slapstick quality because the slapstick has also a pattern. It's got a rhythm. You there, know? There, there's two episodes that stick in my memory. An early episode with um, Curly and they're, they're plumbers or electricians. A plumbing we will go, yeah. Yeah, and... They get the water. They connect the water to the electricity yeah. in this big house that's having a big party. Yeah, and that just causes all sorts of problems. Yeah, and the other one was when they're digging um, for gold. Yeah, and they dig underneath a, a, a bank, and yeah. they come up in the bank. Yeah, and they say we're rich, we're rich, mm. and they're going silly and they're throwing money around, and then they sit down and they start counting and saying a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, fifty. Huh? How did that get in here? Yeah, and they throw it away. And then he keeps counting, then the three of them grab... That's a shemp joke. Yeah, they just die for the $50 note, you know? Yeah. And also, um, I remember that they're, in, um, they're in medieval England mm. and um, uh, they accidentally look out the window because, you see, it's Lady Godiva time mm. and um, uh, the wife of the Lord Mayor or something went down the street naked, but no one was supposed to look at her, um, you know? I don't know what the, the premise of the story was anymore. But um, they open the window and accidentally see it, you know. Well, she 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 didn't agree with the taxes that he was levering, leveraging on the oh, population. Okay. okay. So she sided with the 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 um, guilds and the and the and the people, the baker, the you know, all the businesses. So what? It's a tax. real story. It's a it's a. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll have to check it out. Anyway, so they look out the window and you know accidentally and bang. Oh, you know they're going to die, and. Larry goes up to the camera, the fourth wall, and says, I can't die yet, I can't die yet, I haven't seen the Jolson story. And, mm. of course, this is in the 15th century England. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's just appealing to the audience, and obviously the Jolson story was a big hit at that stage. Yeah. With Larry Parks. Yeah. Yeah, so they put in the innuendo was, it was, was fair game, and... Um, uh, double meanings, well, that is innuendo. What was I going to say? Puns, that he did puns. Mm. You know, could be the pun of the day, could be some political, some Republican versus Democrat joke or something like that. Yeah, I don't really remember the. the, the, um, the uh, I, all I remember is sh- what's the sh- what, what's the matter with you. That's all I basically remember. I don't remember any sort of other um, um, Yiddish talk. Well, there was, a, there was a famous one where they were, um, uh, I, I don't know the actual story, but they had, were talking about these place names on a map, and they were all, you know, like Schmutter or something, Schmutterville or something like that, which oh, yeah. if, you, if you knew a little bit of Yiddish words, yeah. then you'd find it hilarious. You know, my father uh, loved the... the um, the, 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 the Stooges, and, you know, whenever there'd be something that he could recognise as a language from his childhood, he, 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 would, uh, he, he would be uh, uh, all ears. Um, I did catch him laughing at the... My mum did, never liked the Stooges, but I did catch him laughing at the, at the Stooges, at their antics. I just thought that, you know, it's a very um, universal... I just took it, it, it for a, a universal boy, It is a boy thing, because none of my sisters like the stupid. No, that's a common thing. I, I'm sure there are women that do thing. respond to their humour, but I, I think it's quite rare. Hmm. And, you know, um, boys are very physical, usually. 
I think, with their Yeah, it's plane. all about I'm stronger than you and all that stuff, yeah. Well, they also... Yeah, but there's also that thing... Because the Stooges are like big children, um, there's that uh, connection. You know, you kind of see yourself in that uh, position and, you know, what would I do if I came upon a bully? Well, I'd, I'd do the fancy footwork like that. Well, let's see how it yeah. plays out. Of course, it doesn't work. But the... Um, the whole idea of it is um, it's, it's, it's physical humour. It's using the body um, as an incredible instrument for, um, for humour, for the possibilities of, of what, what you can do with your body to make people laugh. Um, you know, and it's a great uh, thing, I think, to, to do, to have that, that ability. Not many people can do it. I mean, there are people that communicate with their bodies, like, you know, I don't know, mime artists or something, or physical clowns or something like that. But um, with the um, with the, the Stooges, they kind of embodied this wisecracking, um, you know, uh, stuff from the Bronx or from New York, um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. You know, they're sort of the, the, the wise guys, the wise guys. Yeah. And the Stooges, um, what's Stooge? Stooge is like the, somebody that you leave holding the bill, don't you? It's like a idiot. So it's not a, it's not a Jewish word? No. Yeah. So uh, it's somebody you, you um, disregard, right? Yeah. And, and stick them with the bill. Or, you know, someone who's... Um, caught red-handed because of their, um, their their stupidity, their ignorance. That's, that's getting a bit dark, I think. Um, sorry about that. I'll... Sorry about that, Chief. I've uh, you give gotta... him a shave, eh? Yeah, I'm going to take knock back some of this uh, black. What's, what's the story with um, a black eraser? There's no story. It's it's black. It's a black eraser. Yeah, but. I've never seen one and, and, and until you. Um, one of my students had a black eraser, and I thought, hmm, that's clever. What? And I asked him about it. What does it do? And he said it doesn't leave smudges on ah, paper. Okay, well, it's that's something the... to do with that that thing. I haven't really well, proven that, that to be there's true. There's a good answer. I don't know if it's the right answer though, because yeah. the smudges are really there from the pigment that the rubbers picked up. So. Um, the black rubber just means that you're hiding a lot of the pigment. So you might find that um, uh, what I've just said is not correct. It's a, it's a pigment remover. Well, that's what an eraser is supposed to be, isn't it? Mm. It's supposed to be there to rub out Well, the I've always found that and um, it's hard to rub, get back to it's the hard paper. To rub out colour pencils. I've always found that. Yeah. Because the pigment's more um, yeah. sort of stable, I guess. But um, yeah, so well, is it, is, there's no is there, there's no pigment in um, a pencil, ordinary pencil, is there? It's yeah, this is pigment in. No, 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 ordinary pencil though. The um, graphite. Yeah, there's no pigment in graphite, is it? No, it's just graphite. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So most uh, r rubbers seem to be made for for uh, to, to get rid of pencil, not colour pencil. Mm. Yep. Just taking a bit of a bit of time here. It's got a, you know why he's got a lot of, has a lot of, for slugging wrinkles and pop marks and things like that. So it's, yeah. it's taking a bit of uh, effort to um, polish them off, get them done. You know, you you start over somewhere and you go over there and then you realise it's... You haven't done that. Go back. Um, they did quite a few... I, I, um, when I was a kid, I, I, uh, in the early days of TV, they started experimenting with colour and um, 3D. And there was, I think, about three or four... Stooge films that were three D, so you had to wear the glasses. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, and they they were so incredibly hammy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, hammers coming at you in slow motion and yeah. things like that. You know, um, uh, but as a kid, I, I, I really loved that because that that was part of the whole thing Is that about the first these. time you saw 3D? Because 3D is yeah. not a big part of your art. Well, you can't see 3D on TV no. usually because it's, it's not... They don't bother screening that. Not in those days. No, but in the early days of mm. colour TV, they had... Um, um, they did tests. Actually, Novelty. it was the first time I saw 3D was on the studios, and I thought it was like a part mm. of their 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 um, their oeuvre. 3D, yeah. yeah. Well, they did quite a few films in 3D. Yeah. I, I don't. I've never been able to work out why. Um, you know, w w did, were they screened during House of Wax or something? What, what's the deal? It's just they liked it. They just liked things. Why don't you try this? Yeah, let's do it. Well, Hollywood's always jumping on the bandwagon, you know. Yeah, but they're not mainstream Hollywood. They're they're more, um, and in, they're more an independent company. So uh, they may have been, like they could stream their films. Before a was, mainstream movie, of course, yeah. but they're mainly um, it's, they're an independent filmmaking company. Oh, I thought they're part of Columbia. Well, they're an independent unit working for Columbia. Well, they had a shorts division, and I think they closed it down in the in the fifties, and that that's when they they, they were finished. Really, um, they did a lot of. Um, more than, in more ways than one. No, but then, this is a no, they were finished, but then TV came along, and then all their stuff... Then they Reruns. Were, they were bigger than ever. Yeah. More people saw them. Yeah, M much much more, because TV was a, yeah. a huge deal back then. Everybody started to get TVs. But so they did a lot we of... We put a movie theatre in our house. With, yeah. with, with, um, with the, uh, the, the non-Shemp years, they, mm. they, the, the Three Stooges did a lot of... Um, uh, personal um, appearances. appearances all over the country. Yeah. Yeah. Again, a testament to the fact that how popular the, the physical comedy was, especially with children, uh, with boys, you know. Um, it, it just happened to be one of those things, man. Um, I'm sure Looney Tunes has got the same thing. Looney Tunes, even, you know, a lot of women, a lot of girls would watch. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, but they're probably, you know, more into a Disney experience than um, than Looney Tunes. I think Looney Tunes is more of a uh, it's a man's film, it's a man's genre. Why? Uh, my favorite Looney Tunes was always um, Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, I just thought his uh, his I, humor. I, I say, boy, the boy don't pay attention. Yeah, but it's like the Three Stooges. He had a very physical uh, style. That, of, but that was of, a straight of, of pinch humor. from a radio comedian, wasn't it? Or it was a straight pinch. Well, I I, I don't Foghorn. know the reference. Yeah. Foghorn Leghorn. Well, Leghorn's the name of a chicken. Yeah. Uh, Foghorn is somebody, yeah, He's probably, yeah, it would be a politician, like a one of those southern politicians. That's probably why he has a southern your, uh, uh, a drawl. Yeah. Um, you know, because of that. Yes, I think you're right. He's got a reference to a southern politician, somebody with a big mouth. I say a big mouth! Um, so yeah, I, I like the physicality of the humor. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it, and um, you, you even must be enjoying today, drawing this face. It's a wonderful face. He has. He got it's, a beautiful face. It's a wonderful face. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, as far as faces go, he's lucky. He's blessed with a um, a good. He's got a good. One. He looks like a sensitive um, gangster. Yeah. <laughs> if you can have such a thing. No, you can't. But yeah, he, he's that. He, he he's been through. He's been through some. Um, he has been through some issues. 
for sure. He's been through a few things. So um, let's just uh, color this in a little bit. Make it stand out a bit. This little bit of carnation I think. lost a little bit there. Um, okay, so here we go. We're getting into the, the white. So this is uh, color pencil, black color pencil, and a brown color pencil, and this is a white color pencil. So the white color pencil is there to, let's get rid of some of this black here, um, to give a highlight. So you're drawing in a sculptural way, light and dark, you know. Uh, sometimes I, I pop in with the white pencil early in the piece to give a sense of contrast. But um, today I'm kind of um, resisting that, I think. You know what, I might, um, I might take this up because the shadow under the nose, I just realized there's a lot of, um, it's probably too much shadow under the nose for this uh, to work properly. Well, I mean, it's not ordinary lighting, is it? No, it's a, it's a. He's it's probably a, got five different angled lights. Possibly, aimed yeah. At that face. Yeah, but there's there's with his skin has a lot of different textures, a lot of yeah. different shine. Soaking up all the it's alcohol. Been, I I I don't know even if he drank. I don't. Yeah, even, he was a drink drinker. Okay, all right. He reminded me of my <laughs> uncle. Your uh, uncle. My, my uncle, yeah. Okay. Can't say your uncle's name now without laughing. My uncle. Yeah. Um, yes, well, probably in that era, a lot of people had uh, hooch and uh, drank well, it's, copious it's, amounts it's, it's, of um, whiskey and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, had big, sh big round schnozzers and... and um, <laughs> yeah, like uh, Jimmy Durante, it's... Uh, you know, it's one of those things that people... That's nice what you just did there. People what get. do you call that thing again, between the nose and the lip? This. Yeah, the gutter, what do they call it? The, the... I don't think it has a name. No, you told me it once. I did? Yeah. Anyway, you... you, you, you... This is a lacrimal. Yeah, but this... 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 I'm not sure. No, oh, you've forgotten. Okay. I've forgotten. Um, if, if I'd... But you, you, you expressed it really well with the white. You know, you, yeah. just, it's um. Well, you you get in there with the yeah, white, and yeah. you sort of lighten areas up, and you know, open open them up to f get get an impression of form, mm. of uh, the effects of light over these shapes to create light and shadow. So now I've I've created shadow. Now I'm going back before I created shadow. Now I'm going back into the sh into the into the drawing and add uh, light accents. I'm not colouring it in. I'm not sort of putting it everywhere, but I'll put it enough to give a uh, an impression of is, um, light and shade. It's is just, this the first time you've drawn Shemp? Yeah. Mm. Is that something that really comes up a lot in um, conversations except with sophisticated types like me <laughs> mm. um, yeah the kids who could do the, the best impersonations were popular of the free studios you know, and, and yeah. everybody wanted to do curly yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Well, he's a very yeah. He had he had some shtick there. He has a lot of very distinctive yeah. uh, noises and sounds. Yeah. Of course, he's the you know the main um, character in um, he's Stimpy and Ren and Stimpy. It's his. Um, ah, yeah. So Billy West does Didn't his best. Didn't think about best. that, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Billy. Uh, no, he's not. Sorry, not Curly. A little bit of Curly. Larry. Larry is his uh, main. Um, uh, aspect of uh, of uh, of Stimpy, uh, but he has a little bit of curly um, in some of his um, antics as well. I remember um, my sister was sitting next to me, and every so often, 
um, uh, Larry would get that scared, he'd pull his hair out mm. and she just ran away. I was just laughing at her because, you know, it upset her that he pulled his hair out. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Okay. I didn't think of that. That's a good uh, thing, yeah. he's. Um... I think it's the only time I've seen hair getting pulled out in Hollywood. Well, they... I don't think they really pulled it out. They're just no, sort of... no, it's obviously but that's... fake. You know, but... Yeah, but uh, complementing that is the expression that Larry would make as, as you know, the hair would pull out, that sort of angry cry, you know, the... Um... No. And it was really dramatic. So that's another thing why I liked this as a kid. Um, that was so dramatic and so exaggerated. It was like a pantomime, like a, a kid. It was exaggerated for humour. Um, I, I don't know whether they intended it originally for kids, but um, kids are the, the, the ones that kept it alive and responded most to the style of humour. Um, you know, because it's sort of really exaggerated and and clear. Well, it's Keystone Cops um, stuff. Really. Well, I've never seen Keystone Cops in my life, so I can't even oh. comment on that. Well, I mean, it's all these bungling police tr- jumping on 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 moving um, police cars and falling off and and falling over each other all the time. You know, cartoon capers. Yeah. Um, You've never seen the the Keystone Cops. No, I've seen the one on Channel 9, the um, comedy capers. Comedy capers, yeah. comedy capers, a pie in the face and a merry chase and comedy Yeah, capers. that was done in TCN 9 in Melbourne, that uh, show, I think, wasn't it? Or was don't it a know. Sydney? don't know. Penny but Spence the, and... But they um, did a lot of pies in the face. Her with, husband with at the time, Jeff Harvey. Okay. Physical... Well, I think that's a Sydney thing. Is it? All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. TCN 9 Sydney. Yeah, um, yeah lots of pie, pie fights. I always loved the idea of pie fights. I think it's such a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, I never simple... did. I, I just thought it was a waste of food. <laughs> well, yeah. How could they throw food like that, you know? Mind you, you know, it was just cream. With great velocity. What do you yes. mean? How would they throw it? It's funny. But you learn cream as a pies. child these really important skills on how to take cream out of your eyes and all that sort of stuff, you know. You had to hook it out with your fingers, all that stuff, you know. Mm. We, what, were you hit in the face with a pie? I no, I'm watching, I mean, really... you're watching your stuff and you think, oh, well, one day if I get hit in the face with a pie, I'll know what to do, you know. Yeah, you p- like... You know, pull it out with your both fingers and yeah, but slap you, it. You sort of hook it, hook it out with your fingers, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's all, a great these, sh- all these skills you, you store away for when you're an adult. Yeah, so there's, there's a great uh, sh- uh, uh, skit of um, Mo and uh, Shemp uh, doing a, like, a, like a routine together was really good. When um, I think Shemp um, pretended to to know something about hypnotism, he became a hypnotist, and he tried to hypnotize Mo yeah. into you know barking like a dog. Yeah. And Mo went woof woof. He said, "No, big dog." Yeah, woof woof. <laughs> and then um, he I think the the punchline of it was, uh, um, um. You're now in Sing Sing, and uh, and Mo repeated it. I'm now in Sing Sing, and he picked up a chair with a sort of a, 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 a doweled back, yeah, and held it in front of him like he's in jail, yeah, and uh, and then he said, "Well, make him do something else." Larry said, and then uh, Shem said, "Okay, you're now in Chicago." And Mo, Mo just uh, repeated, I'm now in Sing Sing. <laughs> and then Larry said, you can't get him out of Sing Sing. And that was the punchline because then, you know, um, Shemp said, um, well, that's where he belongs. That's good. And that's, that's where, where he, he gets his face that, Yeah, because he wasn't really hypnotized. Yeah, yeah. So it was... Uh, Come on. Yeah, so that, that sort of um, shtick, that sort of build-up, build-up of, of uh, tension in the physical, um, you know, with a physical result. 
It's like mm. you know that someone's going to get poked or jabbed or punched or slapped or whatever, right? When? When is it going to happen? You're waiting for that. And it's the build-up of tension. And they held it on so beautifully. They really, really, really piled it on. And, uh, you know, to the effect that um, you, you, you knew what was going to happen. It was kind of you're expecting a really, really big response. Like, you know, hit really hard or hit with something like a like a, a sledgehammer or, a, or a, a hammer to the head or something, you know. Um, so things that you'd never, as a, as a child, uh, credit with uh, having um, that sound. Dong, well, it was a know? strange combination because I, I knew that the sound effects was were fake. fake. Yeah, of course, I knew everybody. that. But at the same time, um, compared to other uh, sort of similar violence in movies and stuff, mm. I thought theirs was the most violent. And I sort yeah. of, I used to worry about, um, I used to think about, oh, um, you know, kids don't worry about stuff like that, but I used to think about, you know, I wonder if, if that really hurt him and all that sort of stuff after I'd come out of the pictures or, or stop. And then you found out it did? Well, I only found out recently when I did some research on him, you know, uh -huh. on, on, on Curly. Mm. But, um, yeah... Um, but uh, I think um, Mo, did a, Mo did a biography. Mo, Mo did a biography with his daughter or his niece or somebody. Yeah. And he apparently says that um, most of those were um, uh, were real. Yeah. Whether you believe that or not, it's just that they look so real, you know. And I used to worry me about how poking his the eyes out, how they did it, and. Um, I don't know. It was to a bit of a day. mystery to all the kids. Yeah. I mean, you know. Because every time you did it, you got hurt. Yeah, um, whereas you could practice punching people. Yeah. Uh, and slapping people and all that sort of stuff, you know? Yeah. And and um, we all made the noises, like, you know. But there's an art. And all that sort of stuff, you know? It's yeah, like... but there was a, there's certainly an art to the um, process that, yeah. uh, you know, people really um, resonated to. It was like. It wasn't. It wasn't easy. This uh, physical um, uh, comedy it wasn't. No, an that's easy why you believed it was real. All. That's why you believe part of you believed it was real. Yeah. And 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 well, I'm not surprised to hear that. Uh, you know, people got that that he got hurt because I think because, you know you'd expect just with the timing of um, comedy, um, yeah, there would be you know retakes. And every time you do a retake, because it's so... Yeah, another uh, bang to the head. Yeah. I mean, he would have got awful. thousands of bangs to the head over the years, uh, Curly. Mm. Thousands. Mm. Yeah. Mind you, they didn't do too many retakes. It cost uh, money. And of yeah. course, you see, when, right when time, Shemp maybe. died, they had had a contract to finish uh, so many films, and of course, Shemp died before um, um, uh, the, the, the films contract. were shot. Yeah. So they actually hired an actor to play Shemp, and they used... To play Curly. Sorry, no. Play Shemp. 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 I didn't know that. And they, um, yeah, he's called the, the, you know, the fake Shemp. All um, right. It become a phrase, actually, in cinema. Uh, directors use it. Ah, so he did uh, the, not the close-ups, they use the close-ups from other films. From old film, from old yes. stop. Yes. Yeah. That I did and, hear about. And you can see that. You can see that as, as a kid, I remember thinking, that's different, you know. But yeah. um, they, they'd they have the actor with his back to the camera most of the time, you know. Yeah. And and they sidelined him, so it became more like Mo and Larry, you know. Mm. So the last, I think the last four films they made were um, done that way. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The... Um some you can't tell, but most of them you can. They're, 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 they're pretty shoddily put together. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, sorry, uh, this is a lot of drawing here. Um, so, getting close, folks, getting close. Um, I want to get some of that shine. Yeah, get the grease in there. Greasy kid stuff. A little dab will do you. Roll cream, you look so debonair. Roll cream, the girls will pursue you. Simply rub a bit of little hair. 
Thanks for that. Memory down memory lane. <laughs> I don't have a memory of that, but do you remember the right. music of um of the Free Stooges? Um, it was Pop Goes the Weasel. Dun 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 Yeah, so it's something like Pop the Pop Goes the Weasel. Yeah. Not quite. So it's like a a different melody. But yeah, and the um they had the those two masks of comedy and yeah. tragedy. Um, just to drive it home, you know, that you're you're watching a drama um, with comedic um, <laughs> consequences. Oh yeah. Very unique. I think uh, that was slightly lost on, 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 on the kids in the audience. No, I got it. I understood it. No, I think kids look kids are not as silly uh, you know, un un um, no, of course not. Of course not. I mean, but I'm saying that. I was it Julie Schwartz? Was it? Did you see the guy who produced it? His name was big in mm. the credits. Julie Schwartz was it? Yeah, they had. Uh, when I was researching uh, this photograph, they had a beautiful um, poster of all of the Stooge, um, uh, you know, uh, background characters, and there's some real fantastic faces. In that crowd that uh, I remember, you know, it's one thing having this physical humor, okay? But when you do it in a, like a routine, like you're telling a story, like they did, and they did it really, really well. But, you know, kudos to the background characters, to the, the people that helped punch that uh, joke and made that joke work. Um, well, there was that big guy. He had a big body. He was wearing dark suits. Yeah, and they had beautiful voices and really strong uh, personalities, standalone personalities. Mm. And uh, you know, watching—I remember watching it as a kid. I was uh, entranced by these um, larger-than-life characters because you got to remember, I'm—I grew up with. Bugs Bunny and Hanna Barbera, and you know, watching these characters, they, they came alive to me like a cartoon, and that's where I really kind of uh, resonated with the um, with children. I think uh, you know because of their their energy and simplicity and um, the the quality, cartoon and quality. The, and the that's why I mentioned to you before. And the imagination. Anything yeah. can happen in a cartoon. Mm, exactly. So anything could happen in a stooge film. So it was like what I mentioned to you before with, um, you know, um, Buster Keaton, right? He called all of his gags cartoons mm. because they were like the cartoon world of cartoons. So it's the same with the stooges. Um, you know, their um, legacy is that... They're kind of like live, living cartoons in a way. They're, they're, um, Shemp sounds like a, an Old Testament name, doesn't it? Shem, yeah. Oh, no, Shemp. Yeah. So Shem is, it probably yeah. comes from Shem. Yeah. Um, the root word of Semite. Anyway, um, this is, uh, Shemp Howard. And um, I'm here with, uh, with here with Jim Bridges, and this is Franz Cantor, and uh, I will catch you on the flip side. On the flip side. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>